Hey y'all, how's everyone doing? Well, I know I'm having a lot of few and far between, uh, what can I call this? Times together. Uh, I still haven't got caught up on my other channel on the Bible study, so I hope to do that today so bad. Um, and not trying to make a bunch of excuses because I know everybody's busy. Um, it's just been very hard since my dad died uh, getting his estate settled, if you will. Uh, and when I say estate, we're not rich people or anything like that. But dad had, a, you know, some different checking accounts and all that kind of stuff. And he had some stocks because he was a child of the Depression. So, you know, we had to handle all that and divide it equally and all that kind of stuff. My sister and I. I, I was very proud of the way we dealt because they, the attorneys and the accountants kept saying, well, you know, most people you know, argue and fight over all this stuff, and y'all just been great. I'm like, well, I certainly hope so. I love this cup. It's got a blue bird on it. I've got the whole collection. I've got the little, except the wren. I don't have the wren. That's one of my favorite birds now. That and the black crow. And, of course, bluebirds for spring and my... Red winged blackbirds and the American goldfinch. So excited about all the birds and been working in the yard um, and threw my hip out or something. My butt cheek, not butt cheek, butt hinge. You know the little hinge that connects your hip down to your butt cheek. That thing. I think it's called a sacroiliac joint. <laughs> you can tell I'm trying to sound like a doctor, and that is a lost cause. But anyway. Um, Today, I wanted to show y'all a new mascara, and so i got to get right on that because I think I've got limited time on this video. Um, um, disc. Y'all, do you do that? Just, it's frightening, but anyway. Okay, so this is the mascara. It's Maybelline New York's Lash Sens Sensational. It's broken up. And it's called Sky High, and it's got um, 3D uh, lettering on Sky High. So, it is waterproof, and it's black. And I like the wand, because it's one of those cone wands instead of a spoolie brush. So, we'll see how it goes. Here it goes. I'm going to have to make this quick, because i got two other, one other, hopefully one other video that I'm going to do a haul of some luxury um, handbags that I bought. And I bought three. But you may be like, oh my gosh, Beth, but um, I'm not keeping three. I may only keep one. Um, matter of fact, I'm pretty sure I'm only going to keep one. If I keep that, um, I don't know, as much as I really do, why are my dogs going ballistic? Anyway, as much as I do enjoy handbags, I think that's my favorite thing. Like, some people love shoes, some people love, um, you know, just outfits, uh, you know, whatever gets me, you know to and from work or at home it's fine with me on outfits but when it comes to handbags and sometimes I do try to get an outfit that will go with a handbag or buy something so neutral that it goes with anything so I'm using an eyelash curler because um, for a long time now my eyelashes have been growing down and I have an Asian friend and she said because their eyelashes grow straight down and um, she said you're going to have to use an eyelash curler and waterproof mascara she goes, or you can go to a uh, lash spa, and they can do permanent um, curling. And um, the only thing is, is it, it's not truly permanent. Like, of course, you have to keep going back. But it lasts for a certain amount of time. And I thought, I'm not going to do that, but I will do the eyelash curler and some uh, waterproof mascara. And y'all, when I just did that, something big time just got in my eye. It's probably an eyelash. They really are bad as far as that goes. They're really um, very straight. So it's very hard for me now. It didn't used to be so hard. But anyway, so I'm going to swirl this around. Don't go in and out because it puts air down in there and it will dry it out. People always say, well, it puts bacteria in. Y'all, it's your eyelash, your eyes. Uh, did you see how it just messed up so bad? Even on my eyelid, Beth, what is my problem is? Okay, let's try again. All right, so I tipped it out 
Which tip out better than me, won't you? That just literally means tip the ends first. Then start at the base. And I usually start on the outer, which I just didn't, so I don't know why I'm saying that. And then go all the way in and then tip the inner lash towards the nose. Then I come back over here and tip the outer lash towards the ear. You just to give that fan effect. And then I go underneath, back and forth, back and forth, wiggle, wiggle down, wiggle down, down, wiggle, wiggle down. And make sure you get those inner little lashes. And definitely do your lower lashes. I don't know what the trend is now telling people that you look younger if you don't do lower lashes because, you know, it will uh, make it where it draws your eye downward. I can't tell you how much I disagree with that line of thinking. And I've seen some big YouTubers all doing it. I don't know if it's like a thing now. It almost seems like YouTubers get a subject it, almost handed to them or something, or maybe they copy each other, and they all do that same subject. And, I mean, I guess we all do some things like that, like we all do what's in my purse or unboxings and stuff like that because that's what people want to see. But sometimes it's like everybody does an Amazon haul, and I think it's because they get paid to do uh, Amazon, like a certain rate or... Um, people get sponsored by really incredible brands. I've seen some of the uh, B uh, UK girls doing um, nothing but Dior, and I think that's because Dior, they're all these young ladies, in their 20s. I think they're probably in their close, pushing 30 by now, but um, they fly them all over the world to do photo shoots, and I thought, wow, that's is it because they're such cheap models? Because, you know, high-end models can make quite a bit, and these girls are just happy to the ass and they get to, you know, wear the stuff. I'm, I don't know if they get any kind of a discount for buying it. So, but anyway, it's just like, so that I kind of get, but it's like the TikTok, uh, Amazon, it's like something happened. But anyway, um, all of them are saying, you know, don't use mascara on your lower lashes. And I just completely disagree. I don't think it makes you look older. I think you look older because you are older. And honestly, I think it makes you look younger to show lower lashes. So, I, I just couldn't disagree more. So, this is good. That's the first pass. And it's gel-like. And it's holding very well so far. Oh, again, just wiggle back and forth on the lower to make sure you get right at the base really good. And then, just like the upper lashes, we're going to come back and tip them out once they've dried just a hair. Because this is a very wet gel. So, and whenever I tip out, I always go back, make sure I got just a little curl of mascara there. And just go straight across them and tip them out. And then I do comb back through that because so it doesn't look too gooky. Ah, like that. Okay, so when you mess up like that, the best way to do it is to squint and go under it and pick it back off like that. And that didn't really work this time. Normally it does. This, I will say this. When you come back through on the second pass, it really is hanging. I see what it is that got my eye. It's a dog hair. It's always a dog hair, but I love my dog, so I don't care. Okay. There, I got it. Just with my finger. All right, and I'm going to top out the upper lashes one last time. You got to kind of do it quick because at once it starts drying and you go back over it, it does start gooping in most mascaras that are waterproof. And try to get those inner lashes a little better. There we go. And I do tip these out towards the places I told you before. So there is that eye. I think it looks good. It doesn't look overdone. Now I am wearing... Um, I did go a little extra today on my makeup. I used the El Maquillage foundation mixed in with my usual Chanel. Um, and I gotta tell you, it's it's very heavy looking to me. I don't know that I'll ever do that again. Matter of fact, the makeup itself is very heavy. and But it does cover blemishes pretty good. Nothing really is covering my age spots. Um, okay, or they say liver spots, age spots, melatonin, who knows what it really is. Seems like nobody really knows. Okay, so I'm tipping out the upper latches again. Gonna comb that out. Here's the only thing, this wand is a little flexible, and the, the bad thing about a flexible wand is 
you can't get resistance when you're coming through to kind of pull off any excess mascara. Okay, that was better. Okay, so can y'all see? Do you like it? I think I like it. Again, it's not the mascara I don't like, it's not lashes. They're just so, they tend to be so bent towards, um, going down. And so even when I, okay, there I got a little bit too much. So again, come under it. It does help to squint because it raises your lashes when you squint. There. I like it. That's it. What do you think? So again, this is the Maybelline New York Lash Sensational Sky High. And you can see there that it's got this kind of 3D, um, raised lettering for the word sky high and it's in pink and the sky high is in metallic pink so and it's always going to have blue writing when it's um when it says hydro or um in french it always says hydrofuge um and in english it says waterproof so anyway that's it tell me what y'all think and i'm fixing to do an unboxing y'all come enjoy i'll talk to you again in a minute bye bye